Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter, and today it is what sold on eBay for January 17th through the 23rd. So I was repairing this guy uh, right here. His name is Griff from the Classic Toy Company. I was repairing him. You can see I have a little clip on him. He has a little tiny hole right there. So I just uh, used the fabric glue on him and put a little clip. So once it dries, and he'll be fine. He'll be good to go. I pulled him out of the um, Goodwill blue box. Uh, if you didn't watch that video, um, I'll put it up here. Um, you can click on it and watch it later. But anyways, yeah, I pulled this awesome guy out of the Goodwill blue box. So I decided to bring him back since I had him in my hand already. <laughs> and I was going to do a video. And he is super awesome. Look at his eyes. Look at him. <laughs> Look at his eyes. <laughs> anyways, enough jibber jabber. Let's get into what's sold. If I can click it correctly, if it wants to. <laughs> All right, uh, report for January 17th through the 23rd. Uh, my total sales are $5,448 and one penny. Uh, selling costs are $1,217.78, which that's include the eBay fees and PayPal fees and shipping labels that I do through eBay. Doesn't include the shipping, uh, fees that incur from using pirate ship so there is a few hundred dollars extra still uh the next the net sales are three thousand eight hundred and sixty one dollars and sixty two cents so pretty good there uh quantity sold i sold 131 items this week and my average sale price was forty one dollars and fifty nine cents so that is awesome i don't think i've ever had a uh, average sale price of that high before Especially selling plush. <laughs> uh, using my average sale price is around $20, $25. All right, let's start with the toys and then we'll hit the plush at the end, of course. Uh, this Muppets Palisades Frog Scout. Uh, anyway, it's just a goofy little, <laughs> like a baby Kermit. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's awesome. Uh, th of course, this came from my toy guy that I've been buying a lot of toys from. Uh, but yeah, this is a little, <laughs> he has a little... Um, just a little campground and I think it actually sets up I don't know but it's just a funny little tiny Kermit um, it sold for $47.59 so that's crazy right there just for a little uh, Kermit <laughs> uh, DC Universe Batman action figure from McFarlane uh, he sold for $30.59 it's from the animated series and like I said, if you can find these things loose, you can make some good money too. I'm, I'm not talking millions, but I mean, you can probably get like $20 for them loose. Marvel Legends, Spider-Man, this is Daredevil. See, um, I guess you switch his heads. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, you guess you just pop off his head. That's... Uh, I didn't pay attention when I was listing this, but yeah. He has two different heads, so... One of those you can just pop off his head, which, okay. <laughs> you can have a headless daredevil. Anyways, uh, he sold for $31.44. Creature from the Black Lagoon. This one's a pretty big figure. Um, this one, I, I had to, like, fix the box. Uh, it was crazy. <laughs> uh, I put, like, two boxes together because I didn't have a long box like this. But yeah, he sold for fifty-seven seventy-nine. You can see he he was a crazy-looking monster. I believe I put it in one of my videos before. But yeah, he was really nice-looking. I think you can pose him in a whole bunch of different poses. But yeah, really nice uh, monster. <laughs> All right, and we sold a I sold a bunch of Simpsons characters. Let me just run through them real fast. This is uh, Cashmere. Uh, for $25.49. Whoops. Uh, this is Prison Sideshow Bob. They have about three or four different Sideshow Bob. This is the one in prison. He has a little knife right here and a rake. <laughs> that one sold for $25. We have Ralph Wiggum. Uh, that's the guy that picks his nose all the time. <laughs> he has the keys and a rocket ship. I don't know. Uh, most of these do talk. They have like a uh, voice activation where you get like a playset and you put them on top and they talk. So really nice little figures. 
this is uh, Homer the Ingestible Bulk. <laughs> uh, so I don't know where this one came from, but yeah, there's like Homer as Hulk, and then uh, uh, Edna as Vampir Vampir Edna, and then <laughs> Apu as Captain Quick. So <laughs> yeah, um, this one sold for thirty five sixty nine. Lisa sold for uh, $33.99. She has the, the cat and um, her saxophone right there. Uh, any more of The Simpsons? Nope, that's it for The Simpsons. But yeah, a lot of Simpsons sold. So um, that was a great week for Simpsons. Uh, the Mad Magazine. I know I showed you this last week. If you watched my last... <laughs> one of my last videos. This guy is hilarious. <laughs> you can see him he's like dressed up as Batman uh, he's fully posable but man look at his face uh, he's got a funny looking face anyways he sold for an amazing price of $59.49 uh, Tuscan Raider from Star Wars this guy has a little monster or creature right here that he holds on to him uh, that's Oh, it's a Mastiff. Okay. From Attack of the Clones. Uh, he sold for $33.99. I still have one or two more of those to go through. Uh, C-3PO sold for $33.99. This one actually has a like a different colored leg. So it's uh, more wanted than the regular C-3PO's. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to figure these uh, action figures out. I'm learning them as I go. Oh, this I wanted to show you these. Um, these are little water uh, enhancers, liquid water enhancers. I've been selling these a lot, and I haven't showed you guys these uh, before. But if you can get these cheap, um, I get these off of the, oh, what is it called? It's um, it's like a grocery outlet or a grocery, yeah, it's like a grocery outlet. Um, I can pick them up for 50 cents or a dollar. And they do sell. I just put them in lots of like four or five. Um, this lot is of five. And it's sold for $16.99. My cat's chasing something over there. So if you hear him, sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can pick these up super cheap. Um, and list them. They will sell. This one expires uh, next month. And they're selling still. Uh, Congo, the movie. This is Amy as a backpack I don't know it's just one of the monkeys <laughs> uh, this is sold for $25.49 uh, McFarlane Mike Piazza LA Dodgers oh, my cat's coming to bother me <laughs> uh, he sold for $25.49 go away you're bothering me <laughs> uh, yeah it's just him and he's taking a swing and then the bat I guess is removable so oh he has, he has some dirt on his knee and retro I, I don't know I'm learning these McFarlane uh, uh, these action figures too the sports ones because I have no idea about them at all before um, I started listing them Iron Man 2 uh, this is War Machine you can see it's the the gray um, suit so Iron Man, of course, is red. Uh, the War Machine is gray. Uh, this one actually has like launching missiles and uh, cannons that shoot and a whole bunch of other things. I mean, you, if you find like the cannon and the little missiles, you can sell those separately too. So anytime you go to a, a yard sale or a thrift store or anything and you see the loose pieces, they, you can pick them up and just sell them individually. Monsters, the movie action... The movie action for this thing's bothering me. It's popping up. <laughs> uh, this is from Spawn. Spawn.com. You can see right here. There's like a little snake and whatever that guy is called. I forgot his name. Um, I know they have the name for the dog, but I completely forgot. I did put in one of the titles. But yeah, there's a mummy. He, he like moves around. And, uh, people like these for Halloween or just to collect. Uh, but he sold for fifty nine forty nine, which is crazy. Oh, it's an Ibizan. Ibizan? Ibizan? Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's a hound. Yeah, I'm, that, that's it. I'm just going to say hound from now on. 
uh, a werewolf playset. This is for another one from Todd McFarlane, which is super sweet. And like I said, all these I got from my toy guy, so that's why I'm not telling you where I got them from, um, except for the, the water enhancers. I got those off of the grocery outlet or whatever outlet uh, store that I got it from. Uh, but anyways, uh, this one has like a huge play set. You can see he's like hanging off of a tree. There, there you go. There's a um, closer look of um, what he's doing. <laughs> he's a crazy werewolf. Uh, the Hot Wheels have been selling great. Um, this is um, this is from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You can see there's all the turtles right there. Super hard with the Hot Wheels though to get the glare off because there's. I'm trying to show you the top of them and stuff and it, just doing the pictures, the, the glare is pretty bad. But anyways, um, you can see they sold for $29.74. A uh, little Batman, well, it's not a Batman, it's a Joker mobile. <laughs> There's Joker's face. <laughs> a crazy little Joker. Um, you can see it's just uh, the Joker mobile. It's a... O J O what uh, I don't know I have no idea <laughs> it's from the 1950s you can see his like hood it pops up and the Joker pops out of the the little uh, car um, this one sold for twenty dollars and thirty nine cents kiss this is a FM radio if you can believe that who would want an FM radio nowadays. Um, but hey, Kiss is super popular still, even though this is 2022. <laughs> Kiss is still going strong. This is from 1980, nope, 1998, the Kiss catalog. And it's a working FM radio. I, whatever. It sold for $33.99. Another Kiss uh, item. This is uh, Catman. Uh, had a little bit of yellowing on the package here. You can see right there. It's just a little bit yellow. I put it, I made sure to put it up front that it's yellow. But someone actually bought this, purchased this from, uh, oh man, I think it was Germany. They paid $80. It was over $80 it came out to ship it. Cost me $10.49 uh, through Pirate Ship, of course. And I kept around $70. So super sweet sale on this one. Alright, Boot Hill Express. This is just a, uh, it's just pieces. <laughs> it's just pieces of a, a um, it's like a hearse or something. It, yeah, it's crazy what things will sell. Uh, this one sold for $25.49. So even pieces sell. This was the, the best sale of the week. Uh, this is Balrog. This is Mike Tyson from Street Fighter. So if you ever find this guy loose, I'm sure you can get $100 just for him loose, maybe $150. But yeah, this is uh, Mike Tyson. Let me show you a close-up of this guy. Uh, nothing special of the figure. It just looks like a normal, like, old G 80s G.I. Joe. Uh, but it's Mike Tyson from Street Fighter. And that is all. <laughs> Nothing much else I can say about it, but it sold for $229.49, which is crazy. All right, one last uh, Star Wars item. This is uh, Micro Machines. These things are super tiny. Um, I like to show them to you because, hey, if you can find them in the wild, pick them up. You can sell them for good money. This is... Um, I believe it's about this tall, the, the the main figure, and then the people are about like an, not even an inch tall. So keep your eye for these things. They can be in the top, the bottom of um, when you're going to the bins and stuff. They can be in the bottom, and you can pick them up and make a few dollars off paying a penny or two at the bins. But yeah, um, they sell for this one sold for twenty eight oh four. All right, on to the plush. Um, this is uh, Ikea Dinosaur ty Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, I almost messed up on Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> uh, you can see I picked up a huge lot of Ikea um, plush a long time ago. 
I've got a whole bunch of different dinosaurs and pandas and cats and uh, puppets. It was a great sale at IKEA. It was all new and it's finally starting to sell some more. Uh, he is 17 inches or 44 centimeters tall and he sold for $18.69. Aurora horse. This is a 13-inch horse from Aurora. <laughs> um, should have put him on a different background. Look at that. The white's like blending him. Hey, but it sold, so I am super happy. Uh, took about six months to sell this little horse. Well, he's not little. He's 13 inches. And he sold for $18.69. But cute little horse. Uh, this little centipede or caterpillar, I didn't know what he was. <laughs> um, so I put both. If I'm um, in question, I'm sure it's like a centipede. Because oh. oh. he has so many feet. But um, I put caterpillar too, in case someone's searching for caterpillars. Um, I like to put both in the listing and in the title. Just to be sure. Um, he sold for $15.29. Uh, Despicable Me, Agnes, uh, she was a little bit dirty, so I had to clean her up, so um, hopefully I got everything out. <laughs> it was her um, her jeans, like right here, they had like a little bit of dirt spots right here, so I had to just wash it up. I just used some of the Dawn I have and just scrubbed her up and then rinsed her out. Uh, it wasn't terrible dirty, or I would throw her in the wash machine, but uh, it was enough for to having to wash her. Anyways, uh, she sold for $18.69. Uh, Yo Gabba Gabba Fufa. Uh, this is from Namco. Um, Yo Gabba Gabba is usually very good. If you can find the robot, the robot sells for a lot more. His name is Plex. Uh, there's also Muno and a few other ones, but the robot seems to sell for the most amount of money, especially if you can find the bigger versions which I rarely do, and there's some where um, they actually work, so they have a voice box in them. So if you can find those, um, make sure you pick them up, or at least comp them. Anyways, uh, she was a big one. She was uh, 17 inches, and she sold for $18.69. This was a monster bear. <laughs> he was 27 inches. Um, I was also I was actually gonna change I was gonna change his listing I was gonna list him higher and put him on a better background because you can see the the pictures weren't the greatest when I up did an up close photo the, the like uh, fur kind of like faded away so I didn't have a good camera angle on it so I was gonna redo it but it sold before I had to so happy with that. He sold for $59.49. I probably would have listed him to closer to $80 because he does have the, the full leather nose and the nice paws right here. You see the paws and it has the, the, the little necklace thing on. So I probably would have listed him a little higher, but happy to get $60 out of him and he's out of my hair. Wooly Mammoth Backpack. <laughs> this guy... I don't know. I don't, this one's super weird. It was hard to take photos of this one. Um, had this guy in my shop for over a year, but that's probably because you could barely tell what he was. Yeah, Like I said, it was a pain to get photos of him. I remember trying to get photos of this guy, but happy he sold. I probably could have gotten a lot more money from him if I could get nice photos of him, but he was a pain. <laughs> Anyways, he sold for $15.29. Fun Ship Freddy Carnival Cruise Line. What is with the people over here? They're like bothering me. <laughs> A lot of like offers or whatever. Anyways, let's get back. <laughs> Fun Ship Freddy Cruise Line. I don't know what this guy is. I guess it's the Cruise Line's mascot. This guy is funny looking. I don't know. <laughs> Kind of look like the devil to me. I mean, that doesn't look like any um, mascot I've ever seen. But, hey, that's their mascot. Uh, I'm not going to knock them for it. But, anyways, he's about 18 inches long. Still had the tags on him. And that's it. <laughs> he sold for $25.49. Garfield. Garfield's still selling great for me. Uh, I keep listing uh, 
a couple every time I get them. I mean, I still have a bag full of Garfield. Uh, they're almost this identical, so I don't want to list them all and get them confused because they're all about the same t uh, size or the same pose and just a little bit uh, different. So I don't want to keep listing Garfield and then when they sell have a problem like picking them um, out to, to, to ship them off. So I am doing a little bit, uh, I'm listing them a little bit slower than the other characters I usually do because I have most of the just like the plain ones left. I don't, I already did the, like the Valentine's ones and uh, the birthday ones and all the ones that had like different clothes and different items on them. So I just ba basically have a lot of the, the undressed ones. So I am listing them slowly as they sell and then I'll just list another one um, identical. But like I said, Garfield is selling very well for me. Uh, this one sold for $25.49. Another Garfield sold. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up. Hopefully you have listed all your Valentine's Day items. I am super behind on my Valentine's Day items. I don't know if I'm going to get them up this year. Uh, I've been going through so much toys. I just picked up 30 boxes uh, more of the action figures. So I don't want to slow down on that because I am going good on that. I'm I'm just cranking out listings like crazy on the toys. So I am not stopping to do anything else, which I should. I should stop to do Valentine's, but I just don't have the time and don't want to. <laughs> Be perfectly blunt. I don't want to right now. Uh, he sold for fifteen twenty nine, and he's just a little heart. Uh, he has a... Um, you can see right here, he has the little hearts in the back too. Uh, has the hearts on the top and then the hearts on the back. So he's a cute little Garfield and he sold for $15.29. Gun, Peekaboo, Teddy Bear. This one worked. Um, the battery compartment was a little bit dirty so I just used some alcohol, cleaned it all out and put new batteries in him and he works perfectly. He does the, just the peekaboo. He lifts up his arms and puts them down and his mouth moves. And he talks to the baby and stuff. So, cute little bear. And he sold, whoops, wrong button. <laughs> he sold for $31.44. Uh, Barbie plush pink blue stuffed, what is this thing, a dog? <laughs> Has like flowers on him. Uh, cute little dog from Barbie. He actually folds into himself. Yeah, you can see I'm like showing you how it folds into it and it like completely goes into the bag. I didn't show how it goes completely into the bag, but he's like a transforming dog, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this one sold for $25.49. Disney score, Store Plus Plush Miss Bunny Rabbit. Um, this one I've had in my store for years. I'm surprised it took this long to sell. Uh, usually Miss Bunny sells right away. You see it even has the authentic uh, patch on her foot. Really nice little bunny rabbit from Bambi. Uh, and I only had it priced at $16.19. The, the other ones that I've listed since I've had her in my store. I've listed for like $30 and they've sold already. So it goes to show you I should have redone the, redid the pictures and raise the price to like $30 and I bet you it would have sold a long time ago but hey don't have time to do everything right <laughs> uh, this is a Funko Five Nights at Freddy this is the red fox with the eye patch I sold him for $18.69 and I sold this other little one um, this is Fozbear he sold for $26.34 so Anytime you find Five Nights at Freddy, make sure you look up the comps. A lot of them can go for a lot more money than I'm selling them here. These are the newer, newer versions. The oral, older versions and the limited ones can go for hundreds of dollars. So make sure you check your Five Nights at Freddy plush before you list them, thinking that they're um, just a normal bear because anything different, like a little belly button or a button or uh, different colored eyes, they can change price immensely i mean the price can go crazy uh another green uh another tyrannosaurus rex sold uh showed you the ikea one this one was um just a, was this is just a generic one i believe um yeah i don't know if the tag says oh this is a hug fund yeah it's just a generic hug fund uh, 
one. He has does have the nice little um, like ruffles or I, I forget what they're called on the belly where you can feel like the the ridges. Is it like chenille or something like that? What it's called. But anyways, <laughs> he's just a big old dinosaur. Uh, nothing special about him, so I didn't list him as high as I uh, would have if it was a name brand like um, I don't know, like an IKEA. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he sold for $25.49. Got a few more here. We just have a basic white sheep. He has a little metal bell on his head. This one was a pain in the butt. Every time, you can see there's even a little fur right there. Anytime I would clean him off with the um, with tape or whatever, it, anything just stuck to him. You can see, look, <laughs> there's a little like fuzz right there on him. I mean... Oh man, this one this one was a pain. I am glad I got rid of him because uh, anything in the air would just get and stick on him. Sold for sixteen fourteen. Manhattan toy. Uh, this is a curly hair. Uh, she doesn't have a name. No name, huh? Okay. Uh, she has cool purple eyes. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm not as familiar with the dolls as I am with plush, but. Uh, this is the Manhattan Toy, which is a very good toy company. She's been in my store probably about a um, good year and a half, maybe two years. Um, she did have some dirt on her butt. You can see right there. I wound up getting it all off, so um, the, the buyer should be super happy with that. I scrubbed it off, and it did come off. I didn't think it was going to come off. I thought it was permanent marker, so I actually put it in my listing that... Um, uh, she had a mark on her on her rear. Let's see right here. I should have put it right up front. Yeah, mark on her rear. <laughs> it's right there. Um, but yeah, it actually came off, which shocked me. Anyways, uh, she sold for sixteen ninety nine. We have a sitting Scooby Doo. Uh, it has the leather nose. That look. It's a little blurry. Uh, Weird picture. <laughs> uh, Scooby moving on me? <laughs> Anyways, uh, he had a leather nose. There he is. That, that's much clearer. I don't know. I guess I didn't have a steady hand while doing Scooby this time. Uh, he was about nine inches tall. Uh, Scooby does okay for me. He has no tag, which, unfortunately, I could have raised up the price a little bit higher. And he sold for fifteen twenty nine. Last but not least, I know a lot of people like the world's smallest sock monkey when I showed it on uh, on one of my thumbnails the other day. Well, he sold right away. This one sold for $25.49. And uh, yeah, I listed him and he sold super fast. Anyways, sorry about the long video, but I sold a lot of different things that I wanted to share with you. And hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up. I am going to be listing like crazy, hopefully, um, this coming up week, because I got 30 more boxes to go through, and I'll have that video out probably in a couple days or so. All right, take care, guys. Bye.